Hello everyone. Today we'll explore the chapter Knowing Our Numbers where we will explore basic concepts of numbers. But this chapter isn't just about memorizing digits. It's about understanding the language of numbers and how they shape our world. Let's begin. Before numbers, you should know the difference between the digit and the number. So digits are the single numbers like 0, 1, 2, up to 9. And numbers are made up from digits. Like if you will take any two digits and you can make a two digit number. If you will choose any three digits, you can make a three digit number. Likewise, you can make four digit, five digit or six digit number. You just need to choose the digits here and you can make the numbers. So digits are single numbers and numbers are made up of digits. Now, what's the natural and whole numbers? Natural numbers starts from 1 as goes till infinity. And whole numbers starts from 0 and goes to infinity. In whole number, you can remember from this O that it always starts from 0. Now, let's revise Indian place value chart. Here, we have four periods. Under ones period, we have 1s, 10s, hundred. Under thousands period, we have two places only, that is thousands and ten thousands. Under lakhs period, we have lakhs and ten lakhs, again two places. And crores period, we have two places, crores and ten crores. And for these places, we have the shortcuts, ones, O, tens, capital T, hundreds, capital H, and likewise, we have the other short forms. Now, we can write all these places in the numeral form as well. For ones, we write 1. For tens, 1, 0, 10. And for hundreds, we write 2 zeros, thousands, 3 zeros, 10 thousands, 4 zeros, lakhs, 5 zeros, 10 lakhs, 6 zeros, crores, 7 zeros, and 10 crores, 8 zeros. Okay, so this is the Indian place value chart. In ones period, we have 3 places, thousands, 2, lakhs, 2 places, and crores, 2 places. Now let's revise international place value chart. In international place value chart, we have basically three periods and under three periods, we have three, three places. So for once, we have once, tens, hundred, like in the Indian place value chart we did. But in thousands period, we do not have two places only. We have one more places place that is hundred thousands. So it's thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. And millions, we have millions, 10 millions, 100 millions. And again, we have the short forms for all these places as well. Capital O, T and H. T, H, all these are the shortcuts for the places. We can write all these places in the numeral form as well. Now, what's the difference between Indian and international place value chart? In Indian and international place value charts, the main difference lies in the grouping of digits. In Indian place value chart, digits are grouped in sets of two, known as lakhs and crores. On the other hand, in the international place value chart, digits are grouped in sets of three using thousands, millions, billions and so on. Let's talk about commas. Commas help us to read big numbers easily. In some books, instead of commas, numbers are separated by spaces between them. By doing this, they are just separating periods. Like here, for Indian number system, like we have the number here, we'll insert the commas. In this case, we are just separating the period. This is a ones period. This is the thousands period, lakhs period, and this is a crores period. So we are inserting the commas likewise. So if you need to remember, just remember after three digits one comma, then two two digits you will keep a comma. In some books, you can see the numbers like this where they separate the periods with the spaces between them. Now for international system, this is ones period. These three are in thousands period and these three are in millions period. So we are separating them with the commas and in some books you can see the spaces between them. 
So this is a basic difference between Indian and international in the insertion of the commas. In Indian, after three digits, then two, two digits. In international, three digits, three digits. They form the uniformity. Now let's begin with the exercise 1.1 of this chapter. Uh, the question one is fill in the blanks. One lakh is equal to dash 10,000. For this, you will write a fraction where you will keep the bigger number as the numerator and the smaller number as the denominator, which is bigger here, lakh. So we'll write 1 lakh as the numerator and the 10 lakh which is smaller as the denominator. Now we'll cut the zeros, uh, four zeros, cut with the four zeros. So we left with 10 only. So 1 lakh equal to 10, 10 thousands. Likewise, we'll do the B part. 1 million equal to dash 100,000. Now how many 100,000 we have to tell that? For that, which one is bigger? 1 million, we'll keep it as a numerator and 100,000 we'll write as a denominator. Now with the cut the zeros, 5 zeros cut with the 5 zeros and we are left with 10 again. So 1 million equal to 10, 100,000. Now the next part, that is C part, 1 crore equal to dash 10 lakh. Now I have written the 1 crore in the numerator and 10 lakh. Either you write 10 separate and lakh separate and then you cut the zeros or if you, if you write 10 lakh in one way, then it is also fine. You'll get the answer same. So here you got the answer 10 because all other zeros are cut. So 10 lakh, 1 crore equal to 10 lakh. Now 1 crore equal to dash million again. For that 1 crore you write as numerator and denominator as 1, denominator as million. And then you'll cut the zeros, you left with 10, 1 crore equal to 10 million. Now it's your time to do some workout. Do this E part, pause the video and solve and write the answer in the comment section. I'll check the answers later. I think you must have solved E part. Moving to the next question. In this question, they are saying place commas correctly and write the numerals. They haven't given that we have to answer in Indian or international system. First, you need to recognize by looking at the period. If there is lakh or crore, then it means in it's from Indian system. And if they'll use million, then it will be from international system. Now see, look at the first A part. 73 lakh. So this is from Indian system. 73 lakh 75,307. Before writing the numeral form, always remember you will write the place value chart be before the writing, before writing the answer. So here, first once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh. After writing the place value chart, you will start writing the digits. Now 73 lakh, it means 7373, two digit number, 7 will come under 10 lakh, 3 will come under lakh, comma, 75,000, again 7575, two digit number, 7 under 10,000 and 5 under 1000, 307, 3 will come under 100th place and 7 will come under 1's place because it's 7. Not 70. If, if there will be 70, then 70 will come. Here you'll write 07. Now B part we have 9 crore 5 lakh 41. Again, lakh crore, it means it's from Indian system. Now you'll write the place value chart till crores and start writing 9 crore. It means only one digit. 9 will come under crore. 5 lakh. Now 10 lakh is nothing because it's only one digit. It will come under lakh and 10 lakh will be 0. 41. There's no 1000 so we'll write zeros under the 1000. No 100. We'll write 0 under the 100. 4, 1, 41. 4 will come under 10s and 1 will come under 1's place. Likewise you can do this. This is again crore. 
lack, it means this is from Indian system. Remember to write the place value chart first, then you'll write the answers. Now here in D part, they have written million. It means it's from international place value system. So we'll write the international place value chart first. Then you'll write the digits under the place value chart. So you know the place value chart. Once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million. Now first you'll write eight, 58 million. 5858. Two digits, it means five will come under 10 millions and eight will come under millions. 423,000. This four will not come under this hundred because after 400, there's thousand. So this is all the thousand period. So 400 will come under 100,000. 23,000, two, three, 23. Two will come under 10,000, three under thousand. Then 202. Now, this is 2, which will come under this 100. 2 will come under 1s, and there is nothing for the 10s place. Now, it's your time to do workout again. Do this part. Pause the video, solve, and write answers in the comment section. We have done the numeral form. Now, we'll do the word form which we call number names as well, or names. So what they're saying is first insert the comma suitably and write the names according to Indian number system. So Indian number system, how we place the commas? Remember, you just need to check the three. First, you'll check the periods, like three digits. You'll keep the comma, two digits, keep the comma, two digits, keep the comma. Now, uh, before writing the word form, always remember writing the place value chart above the digits. Like you'll start writing the place value chart from the right side digit. Above two, you'll write once. Above six, tens, hundred, thousand. And then you'll start writing the word form. How you'll write? Like it's eight. After eight, in place of comma, remember to write the period name. 8 crore, 75 lakh, 95,762. Easy. You just need to write period name in the place of comma and you'll be able to write the correct word form. So B part again will do likewise. First place the commas according to Indian system. Commas after three digits, then two digits. Now the ones period, the thousands period, this is lakhs period. So 85 lakh 46,283. So this is easy. After putting the commas, it's very easy to do. Now C part here, again, insert the commas two after three digits, then two digits, two digits. Now it's uh, ones period, thousands period, lakhs period, and crores period. Now you write 9 crore, 99 lakh, 46. Now you will do the D part in the comment section and I will check the answers. Pause the video and do it now. Now we'll go to the next question. Question 4. Again insert the commas and we'll write the word form or the number names according to international system. Now remember in international system, how we separate the periods, three, three digits. After three digits, comma, then after three digits, comma. Remember to write the place value chart above the digits. Then you'll start writing the word form. Again here, you'll start writing the place value chart from the right side, like from two. Now how you'll read it? 78 million, 921,092. Now remember here, what you need to keep in your mind while writing 100, you'll not write 100,000. 
you'll write the period name only here in place of comma. So again, I'm telling 78 million 921 thousand. Here you'll keep the period name 92. Let's do the next part. Again, insert the commas after three digits, then again three digits. The ones period, this is thousands period, millions period. 7 million 452,283. So we are done with this. Now the C part again. Insert the commas after three digits. 99 million 985,102. You just need to remember this that you are writing the period name in place of the commas. And commas you already know in Indian system. First three digits, then two two digits. In international, three three digits. So now do the D part. Solve it. And I'll check your answer in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video. We'll meet in the next video now. Bye-bye.